Hello everybody, I'm Eve from the channel Eve Bennett and today I'm here to tell you five things that I wish that I knew before year 11. Before I start, I would like to excuse the fact that you can probably hear cars going past quite quickly right now. Um, it's so hot here, it's actually the hottest day um, in September since 1911 or something ridiculous like that. So I've had to um, keep the window open because it is honestly roasting in here. Um, and yeah. First thing I would say about year 11 is to make notes as you go along. I wish at the start of year 11 somebody had told me this um, because although I ended up doing the notes and I got them done in time for exams, it was a lot of extra work in sort of March time, um, especially for humanities like history um, and RS, having to write out all my mind maps and everything in quite a short space of time comparatively. Um, so when, obviously I'm not saying like do them every single time you've had a lesson, but maybe at a half term or when you've got a free weekend, just go over what you've done so far and make them into concise flashcards or mind maps. And then when you actually come to revise in sort of like May, April time, you won't have the issue of trying to write your notes as well as revising from them. So yeah, that is definitely a really, really good tip. My second tip is to stress the importance of a timetable. Obviously you don't need a revision timetable from the start of year 11, like enjoy yourself for while you can. But what I would suggest is having timetables from about February time is so important. Um, and change up your timetable every few weeks, just, you know, rejig it all again. If you want to know how to make a revision timetable, I do have a video on my channel about that. Um, but yeah, I cannot stress how important having a revision timetable is throughout your life. My third tip, which is probably my biggest tip, is don't prioritise friendship drama over school. Honestly, in about three years, you probably won't know most of these people and you will never have to speak to them any ever again, especially if you're leaving sixth form you will never have to speak to these people again. Um, so, you know, just don't get yourself involved. Sure, be a bystander, enjoy it if it's really, really beefy, but that being said, don't get yourself involved in it because I swear to God, you will regret it. <laughs> My next tip is to make sure that even though you've got exams and everything, make sure you get involved in something at school or outside of school. I personally did quite a lot outside of school. Um, it did become quite stressful near exams, um, but for the rest of the year, I really would recommend doing like swimming or guides or karate or anything like that. Honestly, do whatever. Um, but that being said, as I said, near exams, please don't prioritise them over exams, um, through exams I didn't go to any of my extracurriculars and they're totally okay with that because you can just focus on your studies um, but for the rest of the year it's really really good to get involved in other things to make new friends, people that you can share your stress with and just a creative outlet for all of the stress. And my final tip and this is quite a general one so you're going to be like oh it's a bit underwhelming, my final tip is to stress the importance of organisation and I don't just mean having pretty folders with nice dividers and things like that what I mean by organisation is just generally being organised with your time. One of the biggest excuses I hear at GCSE is I didn't have the time. I'm just not. I'm not saying this to brag or anything, but I did. Um, I did Rangers. I volunteered at Brownies. I was doing my Silver Duke of Edinburgh. Um, my Young Leaders qualification, first aid courses, dance, um, and just so much extra stuff. And obviously YouTube too and my exams and if you manage your time properly there is no reason at all why you won't be able to fit it all in it all comes down to time management and organisation if you are organised from the get go, from day one you keep on top of everything, you do your homework I will guarantee you, you will get the grades you want at the end of year 11 even if you slacked in year 10, you can make up for it get your homework done in on time, even do a little bit extra if you can for English, if you've got um, essay homework set, maybe do two essays or get your teacher to go through it with you, just be proactive, don't be reactive, be very proactive, very sort of forward thinking and make sure you don't leave things to the last minute because I promise you it will reflect in your grades whether you have left things to the last minute or whether you have been proactive. The one thing I want to stress about year 11 is that it is worth enjoying year 11 and not being stressed about it because honestly I feel like I lost a lot of the enjoyment that I could have had from year 11 because I was so wrapped up in schoolwork. Yes, I got the grades that I wanted, um, but I do wish in hindsight that I had just enjoyed it a bit more, enjoyed the last year I'd be able to spend with my friends, and enjoy the last year of not having to do A-levels. I've been back at school for a week and I'm already just not coping well at all. Um, but yeah, 
I hope that these tips have been helpful to you and if they have been then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Primrose Kitten while you're here if you're from my channel or subscribe to me if you're from Primrose Kitten's channel and yeah I guess I'll see you soon. Bye!